Hello, my name's Jar Jar. I'd like to do a quick shout out to Amogen. He's been very helpful. I would definitely recommend signing up to his page, um, subscribing to his channel. I will have the links in the description below. So let's get started. If you've been having issues with the ISC DHCP server, I would recommend removing it and reinstalling it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is re remove the ISC and DHCP server. We'll do a apt git remove purge ISC DHCP server. Once that's done, we're going to install it. So we're going to do apt git install isc dhcp server. Once that's installed, we're going to quickly do an if config, um, get the inet or the IP. And we're going to make a note of that for when we get into the configuration files of what to do to set it up. Once we've done that, one of the first things we're going to try doing, which we know we haven't set it up, but we'll still give you a rough idea what's going to show up in that. We shall try to run ISC and DHCP server by starting it. To start it, we'll type in the service ISC and DHCP server start. What you should see it will be something similar to what you're seeing on mine. Um, at the bottom what we want to do will be to um, type in journal control or just copy and paste it um, paste that in and that will give us an explanation of what's going wrong you should see will be something similar to what you've seen on mine so what we're going to do is start breaking this down getting rid of these issues we're having um, if we look in the middle there we see not config to listen to any interfaces so there's one of the problems there we have no IP assigned to if so we won't be using ETH, we'll be using LAN 0 and LAN 1. Um, so one of the first things we're going to want to do will be go into um, the ETC and then into default. So then we're going to edit the ISC DHCP server um, document. Now what you want to do will be to go into the interfaces part uh, where you see interfaces v4 and you want to add it in the interfaces you want to use for my example i'll be using lan 0 and lan 1 so you'll type in lan 0 with a space and then lan 1 you can add as many as you want or few as you want so if you just wanted to use just lan 1 or eth1 or eth0 whichever you prefer it's just yeah you type in with a space to separate them and that's it really in this document so on to the next one. The next one we're going to be want to be opening is ETC. Then we're going to want to open the DHCP. And then we want to go into the DHCPD.config file. So we're going to open that up. Once in here, one of the first things you don't really need to do, but I've done it, um, will be go to the options domain name servers. I'll literally get rid of that. And we're going to type in 8.8.8.8 .8 semicolon and then 8.8.8. .8 .8. 4.4 .4. it's not 100% necessary but yeah I've done it in the case of this then we're going to want to scroll down to this is a very basic subnet we're going to have to get rid of the hashes on the four lines below it um, we see subnet range and options and the um, curly brace at the bottom so now what we want to do is um, add in a subnet um, which as you can see on my one it is 192.168.0.13 but we're going to replace the 13 with a zero once that is done we're going to edit the net mask which is as you can see there's literally the same apart from the end on my one it's zero and on the configuration file it's 224 so now we're going to add in a range so we're going to do 192.168.0.10 to 192.168.100 as you can see mine is well the inet at the moment is 192.168.0.13 so it's dynamic so it will change all the time as long as within that range it'll be okay now we're going to add in the option router so we're going for this we're going to add in 192.168.0.1 now where we've added two so we've got lan 0 and lan 1 at the moment we've just configured lan 1 basically so we're just going to do a basic 
one for LAN zero. So we're gonna quickly copy the top where the subnet bit is, um, all the way along to the net mask and the curly brace, and we're gonna quickly edit that. So we've got the 192168, we're gonna put a 1.0. If you've added more, obviously you'll just do basic subnets to each one. So just say you've got a LAN two, you'll just configure it to 198, um, I mean 192.168.2.0 and so on and so on. For now we're just going to quickly save this and what we should do now really we'll restart the um, the IC DHCP server so we're just going to basically restart the server just like this. We shouldn't see any errors coming up and we'll just do a quick status check but I know there'll be an error in there because we haven't sub um, assigned a IP to LAN 0 so let me see if this is going to work and there we go no sublet for LAN 0 so what we're going to do now is manually sign an IP for it so to do that we're going to type in if config LAN 0 um, then we sign the IP we want so for this example we're going to do an error one so we're going to type in 192.168.0 and then we'll do the net mask as normal. So we'll just do 225.225.0. Now we've assigned a IP to LAN 0. What we're gonna to wanna to do now is um, restart the server again. So we're gonna go over here and restart it. And then do a status check again. And then what we're gonna see, there we go. What we see is interfaces on the same subnet. So if you remember, we put it within the same range. So what we're gonna wanna do now is edit it. If you remember in the configuration file, we done for the um, second sublet was 192.168.1.0. So once we've changed that, well then again, we're gonna go back and then we're gonna do a restart again. And this time we shouldn't see any errors, hopefully. And there we go, no errors, everything running smoothly with LAN 0 and LAN 1 both working perfectly. Ideally you should go into the um, network interfaces and set up LAN um, 1 and LAN 0. But um, yeah, I'll quickly go in there and show you anyway. So you're going to type in um, ETC networks um, interfaces. So have a look in here quickly, here we go. Right in here, what you can see basically is um, you can see the auto LAN um, 0 and auto LAN 1 there with the allow hot plugs, LAN thingy. Um, I daily just, yeah, if you want to copy them, it's up to you. I tried doing static ones as well, but it ran into a few little errors there. Um, but for my case, I've got them all hashed out because, um, yeah, it seems to be working without them. Um, from what I gave it, it will set a dynamic um, IP with DHCP, so you will be the IP will be always changing. But it's up to you what you choose to do. Really, um, hope this video has been helpful, and yeah, take care. All.